see. So when you say the war is winnable, do you think it's winnable with the forces, the international forces that are there? Or do you think that the Obama administration should send in more troops? Will, it, will, will those additional troops, do you think, have a great, a great impact, a multiplier effect, so to speak? The Taliban uh, try to use guerrilla tactics. Uh, so in such a situation, the idea is uh, not uh, to defeat the enemy only and purely by military means. Mm -hmm. So you should have a combination of different elements uh, in, uh, within a counterinsurgency uh, operation, which is uh, military civilian. And also it is about who is going to win the trust of people and how you can engage people and how you can isolate the enemy amongst the people. Uh, in a situation that uh, the that, that Taliban, as I said, uh, have a momentum, uh, there is a need to break that, uh, mm -hmm. to stop their advancement, uh, advancement, to regain the momentum. And I think it is, first of all, a military action. Uh, so this is why I think Gen General McChrystal uh, think that uh, we need more forces. And this is what uh, the Afghan government also supported. But the most important thing from our point of view in this new uh, uh, strategy of uh, the U.S. commander and the NATO commander in Afghanistan, Gen General McChrystal, is uh, that it is people-centered strategy. It's putting the protection of people in, 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 the, uh, in the center of its uh, uh, in the attempts of, of, of the military actions, uh, of the military forces. So let's look, at, look into that issue in totality. But at the same time, it is not our decision. It is the decision of the, of the leadership of the United States and NATO countries, whether they would like to uh, commit themselves uh, with, uh, with more forces there or not. Uh, but we think uh, we need to work together to, uh, to bring more stability to Afghanistan. And what about, um, of course, there's, as you've mentioned, there's also... Um, a need to win the hearts and minds of the Afghan people and perhaps reach out on a civilian level <clears throat> in terms of making their life a little better. Is that something that you see the international community uh, lacking at this point or needing to ramp up in terms of reaching out as a complementary policy to the military? For stabilization efforts in mm -hmm. Afghanistan, one should uh, uh, have in mind three elements. The Afghan uh, state building process or the Afghan government, the Afghan people and enemies. Uh, I think uh, uh, counterinsurgency operations, defeating the enemy, uh, first of all requires uh, to build a state that is able to function, that's able to, to work and that is uh, going to have the trust of people. Mm -hmm. In the last eight years we have uh, a lot of achievements but still the governance and uh, achieving good governance is an issue and that is a guarantee for any civil uh, any military activity or that is uh, that is helping a military activity or completing military activity uh, on the other hand you're not going to win any war if the people of a country is not going to support you so what you offer for the people the people in afghanistan wanted physical security they wanted to be safe. They wanted not to be killed. They wanted uh, to move uh, safely and to work safely. And also they wanted to have means of life. So this is these two elements of physical and economic security uh, is as, uh, as, as uh, most important thing for engaging Afghan people, for having their trust. And the third one is the enemy. Of course, nobody is waiting there uh, to see a secure Afghanistan when the last Talib is going to be eliminated. Uh, there are Talibans that, that uh, their elimination is necessary. Be people like those who uh, acted on Wednesday against the UN personnel, mm -hmm. they are the terrorists, but there are people that they should uh, have a way back to join the peace process, to be part of uh, uh, stabilization, uh, and and uh, I think so. That is what what you one have in mind: military activities, 
but at the same time to have different offers uh, and governance to Afghan people and a new attitude towards the enemy, to right. break their back, but also to engage the, 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 the foot That's soldiers okay. who are not part of the terrorist activities. What portion of the Taliban uh, do you think actually just do it as a, for the money, in a sense, as, as a job versus b being ideologically committed to the cause? Uh, there are different analyses, and as we know these days, uh, uh, all over the world, uh, all over the media, uh, you have uh, an army of uh, free thinkers and, and opinion makers mm -hmm. that they uh, talk about Afghanistan and they have different views about Afghanistan. Uh, the Taliban is not a homogeneous force. Uh, the leadership is outside Afghanistan. Uh, there are activists that, uh, that are traveling between Afghanistan and Pakistan. There are people that try to now uh, create uh, a, a basis of, of activity in uh, some parts of Afghanistan. And they control about five, uh, four to five districts at this time. And they have activities in more than 100 districts in Afghanistan or they have the power of disruption in one than, one, more than 100 of the, of the districts. Uh, who they are? Some, of, they are? some of them are those Taliban that they fight for, for many. And sometimes maybe some uh, people uh, found to be a f Taliban fighter more beneficial than being an Afghan police mm -hmm. uh, because some, they pay more right. for, the, for their fighters. And there are people that, uh, that uh, also uh, may have joined the Taliban in one or other places because of the dissatisfaction with the action of the international forces or the absence of the governance or the problem of the governance in some places. Uh, you mean uh, corruption and that kind of thing? Or, governance or is a big issue, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, including uh, corruption, but the stereotype that that, that the people, some people join the Taliban because there is a, a, a bad governance uh, and uh, generalize that is also uh, not acceptable right. because mm -hmm. if anybody in any country uh, is dissatisfied with their, with their government and they, they, they cannot be automatically a, a suicide bummer. Uh, so if, if it is the mm. case, and there are many countries in Africa and Asia that, that dissatisfaction should uh, produce suicide bombers. Right. In Afghanistan also, there are many places uh, in northern Afghanistan and western Afghanistan that people may be not very satisfied with the governance, but they are not suicide bombers or they are not becoming exactly. suicide bombers. So I think we, let's avoid these stereotypes and let's be aware that uh, those who we know them or we we, we, uh, we, we try to define them as the Taliban or a heterogeneous force and there are different motives also for the foot soldiers to join them. Uh, coming back to your question, whether you can buy some people or rent some of these uh, mm -hmm. former soldiers, it may work some places, but maybe there are elements that are ideological, that there are elements that are linked with uh, with the international uh, terrorist networks. Uh, how, so, how so it is not only about the money, it is about a comprehensive counter uh, ins insurgency uh, that, that should help us uh, to defeat uh, the terrorists and the Taliban in Afghanistan.